All right, so next on the Seals Pass series, um, this doesn't happen very often, but occasionally you run into people who uh, they're very flexible, they have good, good mobility, good control of their limbs. So even though I'm twisting their upper body kind of away from me, they can still move that kind of near side leg and lift it up. Again, this hasn't happened very often, but it did happen enough just to where I was like, okay, well, I'll just go ahead and put in a reaction just in case you run into somebody who's able to do it, okay? So, and what I'm, so what I mean is when I step in here and I'm looking to pin, they're able to just pick that foot up and stick it on your hip. Okay, so again, this is a little bit unusual, but it does happen, okay? Because now it's preventing me from doing my nice, easy walk around, okay? So I could try to knee slice. All right, but the downside of trying to knee slice when their foot is on the hip is now they can just kick you over, okay? So this is why we're not just going into our regular slice, okay? We have two different options from here when you step in. They put the foot on the hip. We can simply kick back, punch the leg away, and then go into our knee slice, okay? So that's kind of option one. We've already done the knee slice. So basically just kick back, punch the foot off, and slice past. Our second option is, when we're here, is we again kick the heels back, or kick the hips back, sorry. I get my grip, leg drag it across, and look to staple down, okay? That's my preference, um, just because I like to attack from that position, but it's kind of whatever you like from there. But the, the big thing that we're looking at is we need to pop our hips away, okay? If I keep trying to drive in against this leg, He's got a post, right? So he can just keep scooting away from me. I'm never gonna win that, right? I need to make sure I can create some distance, okay? So I'm here, boom, foot goes on the hip. I pop my butt back. I can see grip and punch it clear and go into my knee slice, okay? Or I can pop my hips back, grip, bring it across, and look to staple. So I step in, punch, he goes foot on the hip. Again, I kind of drive for a second, pull my hips back, I can clear it off, slice through, or foot goes on the hip, pop back, grip, drag it across, and then my other leg is stepping in to hit my staple. So this time, this foot that comes in, boom, foot goes on the hip, drag it, I step, with the opposite foot to staple that bottom leg. Again, I'm gonna step in, foot goes on the hip, okay? Push in for just a second, pop the hips, I'm gonna punch it and slice through just like we did before. I'm gonna pop my hips and then leg drag across so you can see what my feet do and my legs do when I go to staple, okay? Foot goes on the hip, pop the hips, drag, back foot steps into staple, front foot comes up, we can look the cradle, we can go straight to the back from there, okay? So this doesn't happen a lot, but just in case somebody surprises you with it, at least now you'll know what to do.